What's up guys, it's Parzival here and I'm continuing my let's play on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Last time we left off, we took on the annoying world of Port Royal and we unlocked uh, Agrabah and Halloween Town again. So we are actually going to go to Halloween Town first because we get a stronger item in this one that will help us throughout the rest of the game. So let's go ahead and take care of this first. There's nothing wrong with my design. It's flawless. There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me. I need to find better assistance. Timing, gentlemen. Lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. But you thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. All right, here we are back in Halloween Town. We're going to go ahead and give Goofy some time in the light because Donald took all of it at Port Royal. So let's see a little bit of Goofy, why don't we? Oh! Wherever did you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. But if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! All right, so it seems like there's some trouble a brewing in the old workshop. Uh, I want to give this a save really quick because I didn't do it after the last episode. Um, yeah, so here we are back in Santa's house. Trying to find who stole all those presents. And uh sounds like there's some mischief going on and we know just who's going to be causing that mischief. Three little bratty assholes that I want to just kick in the face. Oh, hello. 
I can hear voices come from the second floor factory. Okay, so let's go to the second floor, shall we? We weren't able to go in here before. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I love the music. So Christmassy, especially in February. So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? It wasn't us. But... It really sounds like fun. Run, Run for it! it! Yep, another lock, shock, and barrel fight. So what we need to do here is we need to trap them in boxes. And by doing that, we need to beat the shit out of them. Doesn't that sound like fun? How do how do they get away with just blatantly like wrecking kids like this? Okay, so that's not how I wanted that to be. You actually want to take their health down a little bit and they'll get trapped in there. So, let's go ahead and take take down which one is this one? Lock, shock or barrel. I I don't remember which one is which. Um they can escape the boxes though. So you need to be careful. Um and, and only trap them when they are able. Uh, Alright, so we got two, one more. Uh, the little devil. Hey, you're the one I trapped first. I forgot to... I didn't even use any of my uh, drives in the last episode. That's kind of weird. Come on, get them in there. Ugh. I hate this precision bullcrap. Let's go. Get in there. There we go. And we gain an item slot. Sweet. Where'd you put the presents? We told you we don't have them. Then why are you in here? We're looking for parts for the experiment. Experiment? Dr. Finkelstein's making us a friend. When we get to boss around. It's true the doctor's been working on something lately. Besides, Christmas presents are boring. Not scary or gross. What are, so what are they good for? Yeah. There's nothing fun here. Let's go back to Halloween Town. Alright, so it wasn't Lock, Shock, and Barrel, so who could it be? Can't be Oogie Boogie. We kicked his little butt already. So, were those pranksters responsible for taking the gifts? It doesn't look like it. Then that means... Sally! Oh, thank goodness you're all here. Is something wrong? The Heartless are back in the town square. I thought, I, I thought you should know. That's our cue. Back to Halloween Town. Yeah, lead the way, Snowman Donald. But wait! What about finding the Gift Napper? Actually, the Heartless were playing with some presents when I saw them. Aha! We have our culprits! Who would have thought? The Heartless! Onward! To Yuletide Hill! And Candy Cane Lane! And then Halloween Town. So it kind of stinks that it makes us go all the way back to Halloween Town ourselves, but that's exactly what we are going to do. Because we got to find those gift nappers. Those dastardly heartless. So let's head on back into Halloween Town. Into the Hinderlands. Or as I call it, Holiday Forest. Which sounds a lot better than the Hinderlands, I think. But that's just my opinion. What do I know? Oh, okay. So now we got some Halloween Town enemies. This is more like it. ba 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 da 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 I'm skipping all these because I'm going to be grinding soon anyway, so I think I can just kind of get through it so that you guys aren't just sitting here watching me fight Heartless. You, you can't be here. Leave 
shadowy town by order of the mayor. Somebody, anybody, I'm only an elected official. I can't handle this by myself. Sally was right. We've got to get the presents. And get we shall. So we need to take a, take out these white knights. Yeah. Yeah. They've got some presents and we need to get four of them back. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on this guy. I got one of the presents. Yeah. Two of the presents. Oh, lost the present. Stop it. Yeah. Alright, so we can drop the presents if we get hurt, apparently. That's good to know. I'll go ahead and take these. Are you kidding me? Get away, you jerks. Wow, this is really freaking annoying. Wow, look at these jack-in-the-boxes. Holy crap, those are scary. Alright, did you take another one of the presents? Quit dropping presents! It's worse than dropping frames. Come on! Are they even doing anything? Are you guys even helping? Are you helping at all? Because I don't think you're helping. Got to pick up these presents. All four of them are right here. One, two, three. There we go. Stupid toxic water. I swear. What a shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen! Alright, we got a present! Hooray! I love presents. I was just sitting here brainstorming when all of a sudden I was attacked. I collapsed and when I awoke my experiment was gone. Don't worry doctor, we know who took it. Who? The Heartless. What? Those wretched things? Preposterous. This was nothing like a Heartless. Not the Heartless, huh? Who else could it be? Say, I have an idea. The thief must like Christmas presents, so we place irresistible gifts about to draw him into a trap. And this Miss Green is the same one who stole my experiment? That's right. How will we know for sure? Well, now that's easy. We'll scare the confession right out of him. Garsh. What do you say we go with Jack's plan just for now? Let's get to Sandy's house, post haste. We gotta make some Christmas presents, quickly. Post haste. I wish we could cast haste on ourselves, that's a magic spell that would be sweet. Have you found the presents yet? Almost, Mr. Claus. We're going to reel in the thief with the Christmas presents as bait. Would you mind if we used your factory to create a few presents? Presents as bait? Goodness, I don't like the sound of that. Just this once, I suppose. It's for a good cause. Alright, use the second floor and put some heart into it. Oh, we will, Sandy Claus. Too bad I couldn't get this done closer to Christmas. I'm really far behind other people in terms of uh, progress in this game. But it's okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm taking my time. Alright, so we're going to talk to this little elf right here. and We're going to start making some toys. Let's make it. Alright, so this is like a little tiny mini game. Basically what we're going to be doing is shooting, uh, shooting from a gun. Or, or shooting toys from a cannon into the boxes. So just go ahead and uh, we got to fill up, we got to fill up a hundred of these boxes. 
So it's actually really freaking easy because you can just reload it uh, really quickly once you run out of presence. Lock, Shock, and Barrel are going to come and try and be little D-bags, though. Uh, just don't let them. Uh, we're about halfway there, though, so luckily there is no time limit here. Stop it, you jerk face. All right, so we got about 25 more to go. Haha, -ha, you tried, you little dick bag. Uh, I can't stand those little creeps. All right, so that should probably do it. Yep, there we go. We got ourselves 100 toys. Lock, shock, and barrel can do shit. Piece of shit. Not quite. There's more. Don't worry. I'll take care of the rest. And we got decoy presents. Whoopee. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Alright, I think we're ready. So let's talk to Sandy Claus. And let's go. should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the group. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go. It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Shh. I found Bubba Wow. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! Gasp! Not the experiment. Oh no. Oh, you dick fuck. Okay, so, uh, so this is the experiment. He's got some pretty good defense, just, uh, just saying. Um,. So, he's going to split into different pieces at some point, too, and you're going to have to take him out. Uh, Dr. Finkelstein made a pretty good experiment because he's actually a little difficult. Um, so, just all you can basically do is just wail on him and, and just try and watch your health because he is pretty strong. Um, and he'll just keep knocking you back like this, like a, like a little rat fuck. But, uh... Yeah, so just go ahead and uh, and just keep wailing on him. He he'll start to split into other pieces. So you just need to focus on the torso. It's kind of like the armored body in the uh, in the first game. I'm gonna go ahead and heal everybody just to be certain. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh wait, you have to you have to kick spring him back into into place in order to do. Uh, oops. In order to do any damage to him. I completely forgot about that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put him back together. And go ahead and take him out. He's missing his legs though. I, I completely forgot about that very key uh, 
a very key bit of information to to take him out you have to you have to put him back together um but yeah he's he's pretty strong it's it's not an easy fight by any means um so uh damn let's go ahead and kick spring him back in or at least try to and go ahead and get back with your with your stuff oh there we go uh do i still have to kick spring nope i can just beat him to death okay so this isn't really all that annoying it's actually pretty straightforward just put him back together when you need to watch out for his attacks just keep wailing you know um i've seen some people have some trouble with this on the uh do i have to kick spring again no i don't okay uh, seen some people with the uh, zero exp expert mode have some trouble with this, but not not entirely right now. I'm gonna hit him with a. I don't have any magic. I was just gonna hit him with a thunder to end it, and we got an HP increase, which is awesome. Don learned jackpot, and everybody else got an HP increase. The mystery is solved. Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm. The doctor has made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! All right, and for completing this, we get the get one of the best keyblades in the game, the Decisive Pumpkin. A great, the greater number of combos landed, the more damage is dealt, leading to a strong finishing move. It's pretty strong. Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift. To wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait, what's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally, you've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. 
The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart. You bet. Tell me that, Sonny. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? <laughs> so now you may be thinking, why is it showing the, uh, oh, the gift of love? Um, why is it showing the Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie? Well, Sora hasn't seen the new and improved Hot Kyrie yet, so... I mean, that's all that he can imagine is what he remembered her looking like. He hasn't seen the new one yet. Um, Alright, so that does it for Halloween Town. In the next episode, we are going to go and take on Agrabah. So if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and slap that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, my friends. <laughs>